It has been so, so long since I've even done anything. <laughs> I feel like the last time I actually did something was on this game itself with the My Hero Academia collaboration. Uh, and I, but before we even start, I'm pretty sure for all of you guys who are usually watching my videos or if you don't, this is new, uh, you might realize that the sound quality of the mic might be a bit different. I don't necessarily know if it's better or worse. Um, recently, since I got my big boy job, I actually thought that I would upgrade the mic or not necessarily upgrade it, but get a wireless mic uh, so right now I am now rocking the Turtle Beach 700 or the Stealth 700s uh, wireless for the PS5 uh, I've been liking them uh, it feels weird not having a wire connected to a TV anymore but that's usually what happens when you do these upgrades but yeah, like I mentioned, I'm sorry if the mic quality sounds weird or any different, but yeah, it's been such a long time since I've done anything like this, and for some reason, I don't know what it was, y'all, but I felt like I just had to make a quick video about this. Uh, <laughs> I was so excited because this literally came out out of the blue. Uh, a lot of us were wondering when they would actually drop another like Dragon Ball Super collaboration with Fortnite because a lot of us didn't necessarily think that it wouldn't happen. It was more of like, when will it actually happen? Since, you know, other animes like Naruto, they got like eight characters in this game and Dragon Ball being one of the bigger like Japanese IPs or, you know, one of the bigger hits here in the Western cities, we knew that there was going to be another collaboration and lo and behold, we were actually surprised. I believe on January 30th, they teased us with like a spaceship with the Red Ribbon Army logo on it saying that they were going to drop something January 31st and so many people were hyped so many people were interested and intrigued about this collaboration me myself as well on my actual anime page which i'll link in the description below if you guys want to check out my anime page well it's mainly dragon ball nowadays what i post but i actually made a prediction in regards to this thinking that since this spaceship was red ribbon we were going to be getting a lot to do with dragon ball super superhero so for my predictions i was predicting it to be adult gohan piccolo the gammas as well as a female character that female character either being I'm pretty sure a lot of people just expected it to be Android 18, like everyone has been wanting an Android 18 within this game for a really long time. Lo and behold, January 31st rolled around and the thing that we got was Gohan and Piccolo. It was a very, very mid collaboration in my opinion. And a lot of people were excited because everyone thought that when it came to Gohan and Piccolo, we were going to be getting their newest forms, that being Beast Gohan or Gohan Beast, as well as Orange Piccolo. That's not what we got. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure within this gameplay, I'm going to just have one just game playing. So you'll be able to see what they actually did instead. So instead of giving us Beast Gohan, they gave us Gohan's Beast Axe. And... I genuinely don't even know where to begin with that because it's like why even give us a pickaxe like this because there are so many different opportunities that you could have done for Gohan and his pickaxe. You could have given him the sword that he had when he was a kid or more just like what makes Gohan a beast character was having the Z sword or wielding the Z sword within the Boo saga. For me, that would have been an amazing addition if they added to Fortnite as a actual, you know, harvesting tool, but they missed out on that and they gave us Gohan's beast axe, which it does look pretty cool with the glow. But in my opinion, it's like, why is that even a thing? So that's my rant about that. But the collaboration itself. So the Gohan as well as the Piccolo bundle each separately was 2,200 V-Bucks. Uh, I personally got the $32 bundle of V-Bucks that gave you 5,000 V-Bucks. So I had, what is that, 600 V-Bucks left over for if I ever wanted to use it for like a season pass in the near future or something like that. So this was a beefy collaboration. Like it was pretty expensive, like $32. And that, that was me too, because I didn't even get the season pass or the second season pass for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, because I didn't want to waste $40 on that, but here I am wasting $32 on basically two characters, so price in and of itself is wonky, and I'm really sorry if I didn't do anything regarding the Bardock DLC, because I, like I mentioned, it was $40, I personally didn't expect it to be 
that expensive, but I feel like I might wait for another DLC to drop with Kakarot before I get the season pass, so that way I'm able to do two little, like, mini DLCs while I wait. Because uh, I know I streamed, I believe, the History of Trunks DLC. I don't know if I did that for any of the other DLCs, but I remember I was really hyped for this upcoming Bardock DLC. But $40, man, these next two like DLCs or whatever they do for Kakarot better be worth it if I'm dropping $40 on that. But that's beside the point. Back to this game right here. So yeah, so this you know collaboration bundle cost me $32. Maybe it was cheaper for you guys if you guys had V-Bucks saved up. But when it comes to the two characters... These two characters in and of themselves, for me, are also very, <laughs> very mid. Like I mentioned, we didn't get Beast Gohan or Orange Piccolo. What we ended up getting was basically Gohan, as you can see within the gameplay. Gohan with his Dragon Ball Super superhero clothing with like the Piccolo Gi as well as the cape. But for Gohan, we only have his mystic form, which is basically his regular character. And we have a transformation to... Super Saiyan. And when it comes to Piccolo, Piccolo has his regular form and he has his potential unleashed form that he gets within the movie. And that in and of itself is so lackluster for these characters. <laughs> Maybe for Piccolo, you know, he could have done away with just the potential unleashed. But with Gohan, I feel like they could have done so much more with this character, especially since he's gone through like a lot of phases within Dragon Ball Super Superhero in and of itself. Like for that movie or for this character, if it was kind of based off the movie, they could have done the first stage with this like him in his base form with his glasses. Maybe they could have done an actual transformation where he takes off his glasses and goes Super Saiyan. And then the last one could be him going to Ultimate. Because I don't necessarily like how in this game he starts off in Ultimate and then moves over to the actual uh, Super Saiyan form. So that, that could have been something that they could have easily just kind of replaced. Which is why I feel like it's like a missed opportunity because like when it came to Goku and Vegeta, obviously Goku goes from base form to Super Saiyan to I think Super Saiyan Blue and then to Master Ultra Instinct. Vegeta goes from base form to Super Saiyan to Super Saiyan Blue to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. I just feel like when it comes to these characters, they should have added more. Like, I feel like that would have been a really good compromise to have for Gohan, just because for me, especially within the superhero movie, his base form with his hair looks completely different than he does with, like, the Mystic or Ultimate form, so that's a missed opportunity. And then obviously not having Beast Gohan, I don't necessarily know if it's a licensing issue or what a lot of people are saying, like, a hitbox issue, because obviously Beast Gohan has, like, really just spiky long hair, so no one necessarily knows that that's, like, a hitbox issue. Uh, that kind of goes the same with Orange Piccolo, because obviously Orange Piccolo is, like, extremely massive, so who knows if they could have, like, rendered him down to just be, like, a regular character. But with Piccolo, it's okay to have just left it as, like, you know, regular Piccolo and then potential Unleashed. The only thing I don't like is that it costs 2,200 V-Bucks. Like, what? <laughs> Why are these bundles that expensive? Maybe because obviously it comes with like the pickaxe and the glider and everything, but I personally don't care too much for those cosmetics. I mainly just get it for the characters. So I could have just bought the characters by themselves, but at the end of the day, you know, might as well get the whole thing, right? But yeah, like even with that in and of itself, like two characters, I feel like was very minimal. The most that they could have done is added more characters as well mainly in the realm of the Gammas. Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, they could have easily been implemented into this game as customizable characters, kind of like how we actually see within this game where you could go from, like, you know, regular Gohan to Super Saiyan Gohan or so on and so forth. Maybe have given us an opportunity to have the Gammas and we're able to, like, select which one we want to play as, whether it be 1 or 2. Because at the end of the day, those characters are basically the same. The only difference is obviously the color of the cape as well as the number of horns they actually have on their head. I feel like that could have been an easy implementation into this actual overall collaboration especially since this movie is you know revolved around dragon ball super superhero and then like the other only character that would have made sense is cell max but cell max is like extremely huge <laughs> like i if they couldn't add beast gohan and orange piccolo i'm pretty sure they would have not been able to add cell max in this game and the only female that actually was within the movie is basically Android 18. So Android 18 would have been a really good implementation into obviously the other you know female characters are Pan, but Pan is a really small character. Uh Videl, but Videl really didn't do much with other than like, you know, appear on the phone. And the other one's Bulma, but we already have Bulma within the actual uh game in and of itself. So they could have easily added Android 18 and they could have made that itself into its own bundle where they just have the gammas as well as, you know, 18 within one without having too many other you know cosmetics within it 
overall, like, and even within the game itself, they didn't really add much to it like they did with the original, uh, you know, Dragon Ball collaboration with the original. They had, like, the Kami House, and they had so much more. Uh, for this one, all they really have is just the Kamehameha making a comeback into the game, which is still pretty powerful, but I've seen a lot of people compare it with the Deku Smash, and it looks like the Deku Smash actually beats the Kamehameha, mainly because I believe the Deku Smash actually comes out a lot quicker, or it comes out like one or two seconds quicker than the actual Kamehameha, and obviously with the Deku Smash, if you manage to land it, that's basically an insta-kill. Like, if you have full shield and full health, you still die to this thing, so... Yeah, like, overall, like, this collaboration, obviously, like, the more I think about it, they can't, you know, outclass the first collaboration. That one was, like, a, a one-and-done deal of how good they actually did it. And they did it so well, too, because they had so much stuff for us to do. So many skins, so many cosmetics, so many challenges, so many rewards. So, yeah, you know, they weren't going to be able to top that. But at the same time, this collaboration, like, the fact that they only gave us two characters... Uh, without even like their full forms either and they just kind of missed the opportunity by giving us two more characters like i i genuinely don't understand why they gave us only two characters like i, I was willing to dish out money for like the gammas or you know even android 18 even though i don't play females within this game i would have loved to have that within the collection but they just fell flat with that and i'm just so disappointed man i really wish they would have added the other two characters like now that i'm just thinking about it and i'm making this video i'm like man i would have really loved to hop into this game and play as the gammas and do a taunt where like their actual models and like sound effects pop up like that could have been so sick but hopefully they don't do that with the with the my hero academia bundle hopefully like if my hero academia comes out with more skins to give us like really cool characters to actually match it but man what a missed opportunity but at the end of the day as you can tell from the gameplay i did dish out the 32 dollars to buy these characters i genuinely enjoy these characters and how they look i just personally wish that there was more to do with this actual collaboration for part two who knows if there'll be a collaboration part three but you know at that point when they do a, a part three who even knows who they'll add i saw a lot of people wanting characters like broly frieza and like those characters in this game uh, that'd be really sick to have, but honestly, at this point, I don't necessarily know if there'll be another collab or if they do, who else will be introduced into this actual game. But yeah, just wanted to make a quick little rant video because it's been so long and I just felt like as I'm playing these characters in this game, I'm like, man, I, I feel like I just need to rant about this, even though no one's probably going to watch this or even care too much about this since it is like two days old. Gosh, I just, why, why did they have to give us such a... <laughs> Why they have to give us such a mid collaboration and I was so hyped too but man we were I was vastly disappointed but with that being said thank you guys so much this is my one video probably of the year and I'm just kidding hopefully there's more videos coming soon uh not coming soon soon but hopefully I'm able to just kind of like stick through and make some content here and there when I ever have the opportunity so hey hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys like this collaboration please let me know your thoughts and opinions of it as a whole did you guys like this collaboration did you guys wish more of it if you were to choose the characters as well as the styles what characters and styles would you have picked and yeah i'll catch you on the next one whenever that next one may be peace